Now replacing this hose is actually pretty simple. It just attaches right here so we can slide it off there. And there's a little keeper under here you just pop that out. Now this hose travels down around the back and it goes down here to the solenoid and you can see where it's attached to the solenoid. So we just need to pop it off the solenoid and then it actually is kind of kept right in here. There's a little some plastic things to keep that hose in place. So we need to pull it out of there. And then you can just simply pull your hose out. And now you can see the cracks in that hose. So what you need to do is just go to your parts store, take this hose with you so that you get the right size hose. And you'll get another little piece of hose just cut it to the same size and then we just need to attach it. Now we take our new piece of hose and probably the hardest part of this job is getting it to go back behind and then out front again because the hose just has no play once you get it back there. So a shortcut I've found on something like that is to take a little power lube and spray it into a rag and then just take any kind of a wire that you've got and just lubricate that wire then you can just take your hose and slide it on that wire. Makes it a lot easier to work with. Okay. Now we just need to bend it into a curve so that it'll go around. We just insert it in here, wrap it around the back, and get it to where it'll come out the front. Once we got it out where we can get to it, then just pull the wire up from out from under it and your hose is around it. Then we need to wrap down to the solenoid. So we take our hose and just slide it right on the solenoid. And then we need to tuck it back into these little indentations to keep it in place. And then our hose is coming out the front. We've got a little keeper down here to put it in. And then it just plugs right in. Should be all set.